Good morning! It's Wednesday the 22nd of September. It's 10 to 6 in the morning. Let me just say hello crazy hair. This is what my hair does if I go to sleep with it wet still. I missed Monday and Tuesday. Monday I actually went and had my second Pfizer vaccination so I thought I'd feel terrible but I actually didn't. I just had a big sleep and I was fine. Today we are off to the studio nice and early. Just coming into the studio. It's so weird being here this early. It's so quiet outside. Okay. I need to clean this shelf up. It's looking crazy. Okay, today I'm making a wholesale eye pillow order for a local business, Red Hill Candle Co. And I just got this fabric back from my printer on Monday. It's just a little fabric order, this one with the teacups, the watermelon, a vintage caravan and a little mini rice bag watermelon. So that's 12 of those. And I've dropped off 120 pieces of fabric to him. So I actually need to get some files made today and sent over to him. Since I started my business, I kind of have only had a little bit of stock ready to go with my wheat bags. Like that's literally my fabrics all cut and ready. But what I really want to do is actually get back to having a decent amount of stock where I just need to fill the wheat. So now we're gonna make some eye pillows. I keep all my eye pillow fabric cut in these smaller containers. Relax. Just getting my tags ready for the eye pillows. So the eye pillows have a lighter, uh, creamy color fabric. And I've just realized I haven't got enough there. So I'm gonna to have to cut some more and paint the edges so they don't fray and this oh my gosh I've never been so low with tags for my eye pillows I'm gonna have to order some more eye pillows and I tack the little tags onto the sides of those as well so this is how I make my little tags there's not usually that edged line above the rondelle but that's fine because it's folded over and here I'm just painting the edges with Mod Podge. I either use Fray Stop or Mod Podge to make sure that the edges of the tags don't fray. So I'm working from bed um, this morning, which in this lockdown I seem to be doing a lot. I'm editing my first studio vlog, but I just got a delivery from the post person and I'm so excited. I think it's one of the presents I've ordered for my daughter who's 16 on bright tomorrow and she has to have her birthday in lockdown again for the second year in a row so I'm trying to get her all these cute little things. Yes it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got her this card. She doesn't like staring, but oh my god, should I open it or wait? Oh, I just need to have a sneak peek. It's a set of six adorable little fairy floss tubs in different flavors salted caramel, cookies, and cream. And I can't remember what the other flavors are. I'm so excited it got here just in time because tomorrow's a public holiday here in Melbourne for the um, football grand final. So yay! Okay, it's 12.15. I've showered. I'm up. I've spent all morning editing my first art vlog. I've got a wholesale order for 25 eye pillows, which I did finish yesterday at the studio, but I just have to trim them and put the tags on and then deliver. Yesterday was so weird. We had an earthquake here in Melbourne. It was crazy. I was up on my mezzanine level at the studio, which is a factory with cement walls. And all of a sudden the whole place just started like rocking and we don't get earthquakes in Australia. Like, hardly ever hardly ever i've only ever felt once before like tremors and it was weird but this was like big it was apparently like a six 5.9 on the richter scale and it was in country victoria and it was 10 meters down so it wasn't didn't do a lot of damage some damage in the city in melbourne just a little bit structural but 
like my factory walls, which are concrete, were full on shaking and it was so loud. And there was just me and one other girl there. I was like, what is going on? It was crazy. So I didn't set the studio very long yesterday. Um, so yeah, I just need to get these finished and labeled and then we're gonna go deliver. And then, so help me. The only other job I have to get done today is clean this dining table. It's an absolute hot mess. <sighs> okay, so that's our job for today. Thought I haven't actually told you about much of my product. So one of the things I make is eye pillows. So I have this fabric printed in Melbourne that is organic cotton on the front. On the back, I also have that printed in Melbourne, which is a cotton drill fabric, and that is my design that I've created. I have currently four different design options for the front for the eye pillow. So it's relaxed, it's got the closed eyes with the little, you know, the sleepy eye, a cucumber eyes. Just Breathe and Bright Eyes, which are a bit funky. I do want to design a couple of more options because I've had these ones for quite a while, quite a few years. I sell these retail and wholesale. So that's why I'm doing this um, order of 25 for one of my local stockists, Red Hill Candle Co. They have a really beautiful gift shop and as well sell online. So she's ordered 20 of the black and white backing. That seems to be by far the most popular backing. And she's also ordered five. With, so that's the spring tangles design and this one is the spring flourish design so again that was based on one of my watercolor illustrations with some flourishes and then I sort of digitized it in Photoshop and I fill them with brown rice and organic dry lavender I actually have a tutorial on how to make your own eye pillow on my YouTube channel so I'll link that below in the description if you want to have a go at making your own. They're really not hard to make. They're pretty much just a straight stitch. But yeah, these are a really big sell. I also sell them in a vintage fabric option. So, cause I am a massive vintage fabric lover and my pile of vintage fabric years ago was getting so massive. I thought I need to actually start using this to justify continuing to collect it from op shops and garage sales. So I do that and they're a bit cheaper, even though the fabric's more limited edition because it's all what I've got, I sell them for a bit cheaper. So this is the eye pillow great for relaxation you can heat it for 10 seconds or cool it in the freezer and it's really relaxing but it's affordable gift that goes well with a candle or something i just dropped off my eye pillow order to red hill candle co which is this place here unfortunately i can't show you because we're in lockdown so it's click and collect and i'm not allowed in but next time i do a delivery there i will take you in because the shop is beautiful now we're going to Head to the studio. I'll check my PO box first since we're in Dramana. I used to live in Dramana. Um, I also used to have a, a factory just down there where we had a little shop front. Um, that was a few years ago now. So yeah, I used to live in Dramana. I live in Rosebud now and my studio is in Capel Sound, which used to be called Rosebud West. Uh, we're on the Mornington Peninsula, if you didn't know, about an hour south of Melbourne. And today is absolutely sunny. So we'll go check the PO box and then we'll pop to the studio. I've got to print some things out. Ooh, food truck, Mr. Pickles. What? Mr. Pickles, what do they do? Ooh. It's all happening in the Dramana Industrial Estate. There's some seriously cool shops. There's lots of brewery. There's not lots. There's like a couple of breweries and gin distilleries and yummy food places. I don't drink anymore. I haven't drank alcohol for two about two years now. Um, so I don't really go to the breweries anymore. But no one's been able to go to a brewery in pretty much in the last few years anyway, have they? With all this lovely fun stuff going on in the world. So we'll just quickly check my P.O. box. I love checking my P.O. box. Oh, thank you. 
So just pulling out onto one of the little strips of shops in Dramana, it's a small place. It used to be a really quiet little coastal town, but there's freeways that go pretty much directly here now. So it gets busy. It doesn't really get sleepy like it used to in winter, but in summer, this place is packed, like packed. It's so busy. I'm doing a voiceover now and that was me remembering that I actually was supposed to go to Mornington to Officeworks to pick up my order. So this is just me turning around the gorgeous little beach boxes. How cute are they? I love them. And heading back in the other direction. So I thought I'd take you along the scenic route to Mornington. I don't normally go up that big hill that you can see in front of us there. That's the way I'm going to go to Mornington. Such a beautiful view. There's coffee vans along the foreshore. It's such a beautiful place to live. It really is. It's not the cutest coffee bus you've ever seen in your life. I love it. I just picked up a desk planner for next year. So I also got just 10 sheets of um, where you can write your own dates. I mean, they're a bit boring, but they're just for my studio. So upstairs on the mezzanine level, I've got my art studio and downstairs, I've just set up a little office area for my sort of office because I didn't have enough room upstairs. And since it's my co-working space and the desk space was available, I figured set it up for yourself so you can separate when I'm doing like admin work. I can go and sit at my computer and when I'm painting and making, I can go upstairs. So I'm gonna go and set this up now. Okay, so nearly at the studio, but I just thought it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, 16. And since we're in lockdown, I need to make it special somehow. And I don't really, I hate balloons. So I just bought a ream of this tissue paper and I can use that for um, orders and stuff anyway. And we're going to make some of those um, tissue paper pom-poms and I'm going to hang them from the roof, I think. And seriously, the hot pink, I was going to get light pink, but I didn't have it. Hot pink is just matching so much with me today. Look, it's all happening. Okay, back at the studio. I'm definitely gonna have to brighten these big desk pads up somehow, but for now I'm just doing September. I don't have heaps of time to hang around here today, so just getting them set up. And here's downstairs my little desk. I haven't really set this space up beautifully yet, so I will share that with you after I have done that. Now I am just hand drawing a card, a birthday card for my daughter. This, this was taken, this footage is at literally one o'clock in the morning after I've made five pom-pom, um, tissue paper pom-poms. They took a lot longer than I expected. And I'm just finishing the night off making her a card. It's just a really simple little card. I, I've got to remember to do cards like a few days before birthday so I can spend a decent amount of time on them and make them gorgeous, but this will be fine.
Hello everybody, it is Saturday the 25th of September. I didn't film yesterday because it was my daughter's 16th birthday. So we had a really nice day at home. She got a beautiful cake and I got some things delivered as well as some really cute little presents. So we just had a totally relaxing day. Um, I did get my, oh there's that paint again. I did get my sketchbook, my new sketchbook got delivered. So I'm excited to start that. Um, normally I use ring bound sketchbooks, but I end up just using them as notebooks and only like, I reckon one in every three pages ends up getting used for my artwork. The rest are like business ideas or notes. So it's not really interesting to look through and it's frustrating for me when I'm looking back, trying to find my artwork, it's really hard. So this new sketchbook is going to be just for sketching. Some notes as well can be included on the pages, but it has to have drawing on every page. So this is my new sketchbook. It's a Strathmore mixed media 64 page. I saw on another artist vlog that this is a really good one to use. So today it's very low key. It's already lunchtime. I had a bit of a lazy morning, picked up some stuff that I got off Facebook Marketplace this morning for some upcoming projects. But now I'm trying to get my first uh, studio vlog YouTube video finished. I finished the main editing. I'm just making some little graphics that I can put in between the days. So I would love to learn how to do cute little gifts, but at this stage, I'm just gonna get this vlog uploaded so that I can get started on the next one. And so I'm just gonna do some little screens in between the days. So now that's done, I'm working on this commission. So I did the two sketches that I sent through to the client. And like I said previously, she liked a mixture of both. So I've just taken a photograph on my phone of both sketches and I've popped them into Procreate. And now I'm just going to trace over the parts that she liked. So it's super easy to do it that way. How good is Procreate? Oh my gosh. And I've only just learned that to fade out the original sketch so it's not so not its full strength you just press on that little n in the layers and you can reduce the opacity great so i sat with this guy for a few hours just at the dining table i just find this type of work so relaxing where i'm just tracing over an original drawing maybe making a few little alterations but pretty much just going over it oh so relaxing i could do this all day except my body like starts to seize up and i get a really sore neck <laughs> it is a 7 p.m saturday the 25th of september i've just finished the commission that was kind of due this time last week again this is why i do not do commissions i do literally do like one to a year I just, they're just not my thing because as soon as i'm working on other people's projects my brain just goes oh, i don't know what i'm doing this is it i've just sent it through for final approval and waiting to hear back from her but even if a few minor changes need to be made at least i've done i'm done uh, the bulk of it and it will be easy to edit so yay now i'm going to have cake for dinner because we have leftover cake from Lily's birthday yesterday and I can't be asked making dinner. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. Next week is going to be a really great week full of drawing and painting. So I hope you can join along for that one. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell to stay up to date when I do my next upload. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you next week.